Point. Sixteen, seventeen, Twenty-four. Twenty-five. Forty-two. Forty-three. Forty. Forty-one. Forty-six. Forty-seven. Fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-eight, fifty-nine. Sixty-six, sixty-seven, seventy-four, seventy-five. Eighty-two, eighty-three, eighty-nine, ninety. Ninety-six, ninety-seven, one hundred and three.
106. 108. 111. 115. 120. 126. 126 and the Now, cue across that slightly. What's he left? There might be just one at the back of that bunch of reds. Everything else seems to be covering each other. But there's certainly one that'll go. That one just. It's almost touching the other ball, that'll pot. Get in. One. An excellent opportunity. How does he respond to that clearance in the previous frame? Five. The Reds are in a lovely position. The way this final is starting Ten. to build up, and be surprised if Ronnie doesn't win the frame from this visit. To be honest, I know it's quite premature to say it at the moment, but it's just the feeling you get. Both players are starting to hit top gear just at the right time. 11. Twenty four. Twenty five. You can see the average shot time, Ronnie's below twenty for the first time in the match. I think one of his matches, he was down to something like 14, 15 seconds. But the standard now is quite incredible. Both players playing at the top of their form. So there's plenty of snooker to be played in this year's UK Championship, you feel. And once again, Ronnie's gone to sit down as the referee finds the correct spot for the pink there. Yeah, he's not even looking, Ronnie. 
think he gets Thank you. Sometimes gets a little bit annoyed how long the referees take to, to spot the ball. But yeah, Ronnie's shot shot time comes down when he's got complete control of the cue ball because there's no need to look at what the next shot is because he's always in perfect position. There's only this red into the middle and the one to the right of the cue ball that's available. Forty the seven. others are covering each other. Forty-eight. In play for the one near the cushion this time. It's not a good angle to cannon into the five reds and pink. As he hit it too hard, just about okay. But he might have to screw back for the blue just looking at it. Or has he got a slight angle? Yeah, he had a slight angle to get on the black. So this is the key shot coming up. If he can come on the two reds right in the middle, there's two reds. If he can hit them right in the center, it'll be perfect. Just caught the end, one of the pulls up, he's okay. It will go into the middle. 61. Just a few more pots away from winning this frame with one visit. Sixty-two. Exceptional play from both players here. Really is. Yeah, this is what we hoped. Sixty-seven. These two players were matched up in this final there. See Ronnie <laughs> getting the referee to get out of the way. <laughs> He's totally in his own. He just wants nothing in the way of him making this century break. Well, we could get a pair of roller skates for the referee. That might help. 74. 75. He's had 124 in the opening frame, and then he had 134. 81. Is this going to be another century? 82. <coughs> He's made 10 in the tournament so far. There's been 102 so far. 88. And if he could make a hundred here, 89. I don't suppose he's thinking about it. This would be a century of centuries in the UK championship. 96. The man beside me holds the record. 105. 95. Superb, absolutely fantastic. Five. The standard is quite extraordinary at the moment from both players. It looked 108. when Mark Selby won the opening frame this evening that he was going to run away with it. <coughs> but Ronnie had other ideas. 112. 117. Oh. <laughs> 123. It's another break of 130. One. Good solid <laughs> Down, but Marco will be fearing the worst. <laughs> Not got nice in this red. Five. Don't know if you can avoid the cannon on the black here. 
Yeah, they could do. Six. to leave a nice angle on the blue. 13. To go into the cluster. He was just checking to see if there's any plants in the cluster. He didn't want to knock a ball in. Well, looking at that, he's not got a good angle on the red to get nicely on the blue. Yeah, he's going to have to leave the shot. The blue, take the cue ball between green and brown. With right hand side off the bolt cushion, side 14. cushion into the bunch. So this is a shot that could win the match. Got a good line. How do you look? How do you look? It's not bad. It's not bad. He's given himself a chance. But remember, it's a deciding frame. There's pressure on every ball. Well, he couldn't hit this any better, could he? No, he's absolutely superb. And you feel if you can. Not this red in just over three hours. It's a long match for Ronnie O'Sullivan. Ten frames. But if you can just knock this red in, the other reds are there waiting for a frame and match winning chance. Twenty. Twenty-seven. Twenty-eight. Two reds available into the opposite corner pocket. I think he may just have the angle to come off the right-hand side cushion for one of those two reds. Showing that 35. he needs 68 points, so that's another 33 required from this situation. Normally, you wouldn't think it'd be a problem, but we've seen so many frames this evening where Ronnie's been in this position and not managed to clinch it. If you're just tuning in, this is the final frame decider of the UK Championship semi-final and our feature film, The Dresser, will follow after the conclusion 43. of this match. Forty-four. Only, only a few pots away now from avoiding this defeat, which Looked on, I've got to be honest with you, when Marco Fu was in the balls the last frame, Stephen, and then he got that horrendous. He needs one more red to leave Marco Fu needing a snooker. <laughs> and now that looks as though there'll be no way back for Marco. Well, what a match. He's had swings, it's had roundabouts, he's had misses, it's had tremendous breaks. But in the end, it's going to be Ronnie O'Sullivan who's going to contest the final tomorrow against the reigning world champion and world number one, Mark Selby. It'd be fitting if he could finish with a century. 80. But I'm certain there were times that Ronnie thought this match has slipped away.
88. And this is the nature of snooker. And this is why somebody wrote a book once called 89. It's a Cruel Game. And that's it. Just one mistake from Marco. Went for the long red, just caught it a bit too full. And that's the only chance he's had. Yeah, he'll just... remember the kick, all right, that he got, but he'll also remember the chance he had to win. 97. Well, he didn't get good in the yellow, had to go around the table. And then the, the simple shot, and you see the central. Fantastic visit, Mr. Sidon Prim. Yeah, absolutely vintage Ronnie O'Sullivan in this exciting frame. You can't question his, uh, his fight nowadays and his temperament. He's up for it. He says in his interviews that sometimes he just has to hang on in there and let his form come. And he's certainly raised up a gear here. What a clearance this is in a deciding frame. But yeah, Marco had a chance, missed the green with the rest. Could have run out a 6-4 winner, but that's all ifs, buts and maybes. The fact is that Ronnie O'Sullivan has taken these absolutely superbly. And what a final we've got to look forward to tomorrow. the shot you know no commitment to the shot you were sort of in between one in between shots i think doesn't want to be straight on this right because if he is he won't be able to get anywhere might have a little angle just to force out for the black yeah, he's okay. Oh. Nice control cannon there to leave himself on the red by the black spot. This will now open, open the game up. 12. Well, this is looking good already for us, Sullivan. Lovely shot again into the Reds. 19. He's made 916 centuries now in his career, so the 1,000 is going to happen for sure. He's made 20. 42 this season. That's only eight fewer than the 50 he made the whole of last season. It just shows how well he's been playing in this golden spell last couple of months. It's brought him uh, three titles from four finals. In fact, five if you count the Hong Kong Masters 27. as well. Where he lost to Neil Robertson. Twenty-eight. Yeah, his break building is incredible. He sees so many shots that other guys don't. Just simple shots to open up, open up pathways. 34. 35. Well, you feel the worst now for Michael George. You won that uh, scrappy previous frame, but I think he'll be expecting O'Sullivan to win it here. 42. First two frames really if he looks back on the match, he might think about because he had chances there. He was in front in both of them. 43. Which couldn't quite kill them off. Yeah, from Michael's point of view, there's not there's not too much to worry about. You know, he's he's on track. He hits the ball nice. He hits the ball straight. He just needs more time out on the match table and in this kind of environment. You know, 50. and it's that's hard to come by when you when you're up against these guys. 51. But if he keeps working hard, keeps doing the right things, he'll put himself in position and break the back of the game then, and then he'll, his confidence will be a lot stronger for that. 
57. Well, as O'Sullivan gets closer to winning the match, have you enjoyed your commentary debut, Ricky? Yeah, it's been good. It's been different, you know. I've, I'm not going to lie, but I've felt a little nervous doing it. But it's good to see the game from a different different 64. side, you know. And yeah, enjoyed it. Good, you can come back any time. 65. I think we've seen uh, a lot more Ronnie O'Sullivan this week on this evidence. This is match ball. And in the end, he's uh, just killed it off in the blink of an eye. 72. Yeah, no drama from Ronnie there. He's just... He's waited for his chance, stepped in, and been clinical. Like every time he has been of late. key thing is he's just enjoying his snooker 79. right now. We know he's had a rather tortured relationship 80. at times with the game. He had that year when he didn't play at all until the World Championship, apart from one PTC. But right now, clearly wants to be here. He's enjoying it. He's certainly enjoying 86. winning all these tournaments. Three ranking titles already this season. A lot of prize money as well. 87. Absolutely nothing wrong with his game. And as Neil Fold said right at the start, someone's got to beat him. Who's it going to be? Yeah, he definitely looks balanced. He looks looks happy with, with his game. 93. Happy with everything, really, and there's a lot to be said for that play in this game. You know, it's a, it's a real tough sport and can scramble your mind at times. But when you're clear, there's, there's no better game to play. Thank you. So, ever the showman, it looks like he's going to finish with a century. There it is. Another one for the collection. 43rd of the season. Yeah, great break. Just kept it very simple all the way through. Absolute master. 109. It's a golden spell in a golden career. 111. And once again this afternoon, as he was in York, he's been completely focused. 114. He'll be really pleased just to get his first game under his belt for this tournament, you know, even though he's been playing some great stuff last week. It's a new event and he'll feel he'll feel happy and, and settled to get through his first one. Yeah, there's another great shot on the blue. He's gone out in style. You'd expect nothing less of him. 129. What a classy finish this has been. 136 to win it. Ronnie O'Sullivan roars into the second round here in Glasgow.